Yeah, they're they're working on pulling the outside frame out. It's got a little nectar and stuff in it. Right there's the queen. Boys, we're doing some queen binding already, huh? She was in the seventh frame. They've got a lot of nectar out here. I see some eggs that she's already laid in the center. She's pretty. I could just sit and watch them walk around all day. She's not got a lot of black on her like some of the other queens I have. See, I like to see the diversity. I like to see different queens. put her back in here. She is fired up, buddy. They look great. I'm not going to go in any further. They still got some frames to pull out. They got these over here. She's laying on this one. So, and then here. But, see how we got bees here. Both sides here. Both sides here. Here. You can see they've pulled the honey on the top. They pulled it out. So, it won't be much longer. It's easy to see when you look. You can see how you got, you got no bees here, no bees here. Now she's laying here now. They'll eventually, they, you know, a few days from now, I'll, they'll start taking care of this frame so there'll be more bees on it. But now some people might want to put a box on right now, but we don't want to demoralize them. We don't want to give them too much space. So we need to wait till they get bees on both sides of these frames here and some of that brood hatches out where they have more bees and then I'll put another box on it. And then they'll build up and I'll, uh, there's a good chance I can get a super on it here in the next few, probably another three weeks or so. We'll see where they're at and how many bees they have and we'll give them another box to build on. And I might do a super, I don't know, it just depends on how many bees is in it. But I will, I'll just end up doing the, the deeps for the honey, the deep frames, and, and I might not do a super, so. Well, there's our swarm update. They're looking good.
See that wax moth right there? It's just sitting by, waiting, trying to find a way to get in. But you notice I have a temporary reducer. I'll make a wooden reducer. So I only give them this space here. It's easier for the bees to guard it, okay? So it makes it harder for stuff like this to get in. All right. And look, here's one, see, look. Sometimes if you don't coat the wax on them good enough, they don't like them. They pull them out <laughs> and set them out front and say, hey, mage, here's your bobby pin back. They're looking good. Hey, well, I appreciate you guys. And thanks for watching. This is Major with Major Honey. Oh, we'll be coming at you next time. Thanks. Like and subscribe. Appreciate you.